This video is a segment from the live stream linked in the description below. If you find it useful, be sure to like it. But if you'd like to join the conversation, subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified when we go live the next time. I'd love to see you there. Until then, I hope you enjoy this video. One of the things that I wanted to do before we really get into the motion control stuff today was talk about telegrams um, and really free telegrams. I have in an S120, I have a, a, a telegram that I use on the control unit. And if you didn't realize that even the control unit has a telegram, um, then you've just had your world opened up to it. So every drive object, everything on this screen up here has a telegram. So the CU, the ALM, the motor module, motor module, motor, all of those have telegrams associated with them. So to get to the telegrams from this screen, click on the control unit. And because ultimately you only have one point of contact between the PLC and the, the drive system. And that is the control unit. So all the telegrams programmatically reside in the control unit. So click on the control unit and then we're going to go down here and we're going to look at these different telegrams. Uh, so we could do it all from this screen and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need that anymore. And I'm going to move my face to off. I'm going to turn my face off. You don't need to see my face. So everything's here and each one of them has a, um, has a telegram and I'll show you that I've gone through and set some of these up by default. When you bring a, an object in, it is going to set it up as free telegram. So, uh, we're going to change. This is the drive that we brought in. We're going to change this to match all these others at Siemens telegram one Oh three. But what I want to work on is the control unit and we have it set to a free telegram right now. And the reason I want to work with the control unit is because, um, let's go into, um, show you kind of what I'm talking about with Bico real quick, because Bico is a, a concept that you might intuitively understand, uh, just because it's like, okay, we're connecting parameters and it's not going to be in the CPU, you know, devices. And then you can kind of group them together. So we're working with our sync system only and let's go into the s120 and let's just open up um, the parameterization for our follower hit control five i'm gonna drop that out of the way for right now and i want to go to parameter view so one of the things that i like to do is because there's really no no common reason to have to send any information to the control unit it's yourself. Um, I like to use the control unit as kind of a, a hub for extra information. If you're going to use a free telegram and you want some information, uh, to come back, then use the control units telegram and say, and I'll show you what I mean, because I can go here and hit control five and bring this up. And right now it's only set to one word, but let's say that we want two words from each of these one, two, three, four, five axes. So let's go through and just set up 10 words. Um, we don't need 10 words, but we want to get 10 words back from, um, Oh, okay. So this is complaining about where, where this starts. Uh, so let's, da, 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 da. what did that say? Since I've, so 418, let's go Q 418 and I am, so I just changed this up to where it moved the address space to the end. And that's pretty valuable information there. Like. That was, I put in the control unit first, so it allocates one word, um, one word. 
and then so that was it was at the beginning then i brought in the in feed and so it's going to butt all of those up together and well it didn't have enough space because when when it put the in feed in it only allocated enough space for one word instead of 10 words and that that's what went on there so that's why i had to move this partner area over to uh, a new address space so that it has more uh more output or i guess more input i should say um Da, 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 da. And I did that on the wrong one, but this needs to be 10. And that's there. Um, because the actual value is what's getting sent from the drive to the PLC um, is out. At, so all of this is from the drive's perspective. Save that. So now we have 10 words available in the uh, control unit in order to send information back. And you might be like, well, what's in the control unit? That like that doesn't make sense. Why would we why would we want to do that? Let's open up the drive control parameterization and hit control five again to get rid of that. And let's go to parameter view and communication and send direction. And now we just set it up to where we have 10, 10 words available. Um, and profi drive PBD PZD send word PZD one. So, and then this will show 24 because that's as many available, but we set up the, the free telegram to only be sending the first, uh, first nine because we have 10 words and it starts at zero. So PZD one through 10, um, we will have available, uh, PZD one through 10. We'll have that available for us to send. Now you're like, okay, and what good does that do us? See, this is just the drive object for drive control. Thing about the S120 is all of these parameter sets exist on the same hardware. So let's just take and go to follower one and get that R72 value that we were wanting and plug it in. And now that is coming, that data coming across from the control unit Telegram is actually coming from the follower axis. So another axis. And that should hopefully clicks in some ideas of what you could do with this sort of stuff. Now, so with an S120, you're not restricted to just the drive object that you're working on in your Bico connections, which should get, get all the juices flowing. So let's go to follow two and put that same value in uh, output voltage two. And so let's, we'll just continue to go along through here. And as you can see, we can build up this kind of custom, custom block here. So, and then we're gonna have for this last one, follow four output voltage. Okay, so Follow one, two, three, four. So we've got we've got our stuff there that that we have the um, that we want to do. Now, how do we use that? Well, on the PLC side, what we are wanting to do would be to create a PLC data type that um, that would show this. So let's go to our CPU real quick. CPU and go to uh, PLC data type and then add a new data type. And let's call this thing, um, let's call this um, CU output or CU system output. Data, something like that. Okay. Add new and open. We don't need it to be F compliant. And then let's go through and we're gonna want uh we're gonna want a data type of word there. Um and actually let's go back and look at this. So on our R72, we can actually go to this help for this parameter. And when it pulls up, um, 
which it pulled up on a different screen. Just wait so that I can move it up onto the other screen. <laughs> All right, let's move this up here. So it actually gives you, it is actually a floating point 32. So that's actually two words. So it's good that we have that extra space. I wish that I uh, knew, <laughs> I wish that I knew that that actually was the case. But so it's gonna, we put that, we put that in there uh, as R32. And then, so that means that we're actually, that is gonna be a real value. And then we're gonna say, this is a uh, follower, follower. <laughs> Uh, I am from Alabama, but that's not how I say follow. So follow one and then we'll do, oh, let's do, I'll put voltage follow one, let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. Adult. That'll work. Oh, we don't need this. One. So that takes up two, four, six, eight. So we do need an extra. Okay. So let's do this. And now we have a PLC data type that we, we're going to use. So now we're going to go through and make a tag. We'll just make a default tag table. And we're going to make a tag called CU, CU info system. System one. And we're going to make it of type CU system output data. And we are going to tie that to that telegram control five. We're going to tie that to I 418. So I or actually this is going to be IW 418 because not lies. I don't know. I. 418.0 and that's it so now you actually this data that's going to be getting sent back from the cu will land here and you will be able to access in like your in your memory or in your program let's just go in here and do like a move um oh five do a move block And then we can now go and say uh, that tag. What do we call it? CU data, CU info system one, and then output voltage follow one. And we're going to move that to use it. Hopefully, this video has been helpful. If it has, you know, hit that hit that like button and maybe even subscribe for more. But until the next video, always be learning. Bye.